everyone, Basil Chapman sitting in for Tom O'Brien, and uh, Tom is out this afternoon. So let's just go through this. I'm the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour, noon to 1 p.m. Eastern Time each day. I'm also the author of the opening call, very comprehensive daily newsletter. Now let's go to the numbers. The Dow is up 20. This is really interesting. Why? Because I like to look at the technicals. I like to look at the moving average convergence divergences. On the left here is the daily chart. In the middle is the, is the weekly. On the right is the monthly chart. And that MACD has started to pull back and has flattened out. And very often what happens when it flattens out like this, doesn't have to happen this time, but this is what often happens, is that it's got this little dolphin look, and this is the, the, this is the snout, and then it starts to pull back. The stochastic, I love to see over 80%, especially over 90%, is at 74%, so it's weak. But we are looking at a couple of moving averages that I consider to be very important, having webinars on them. I had a webinar just a week ago discussing them. Look at this. <clears throat> You see this green line here? This is the nine period exponential moving average. And the black line is the 14 period exponential moving average. <clears throat> when we got to that peak at 28,090 in the Dow on the 19th of, of November, I anticipated we would pull back. We pull back under the green line, touch the black line, the 14 EMA. And the MACD start turned down, stochastic turned down just a tad. The unbalanced volume, the blue line, this is just a cumulative um, counting uh, positive on an up day. The number of shares on the New York Stock Exchange or the number of down, sorry, on the, and the Dow, or the number of downs, uh, down shares you take and subtract it. So it's a cumulative total. And uh, that gave a, a heads up to say, we're making a peak E in this the fifth highest peak in the unbalanced volume. Be careful. Well, everything pulled back, but those lines were so strong. And instead of doing this, let me show you in the QQQ, the NDX 100, oh, I typed in over there, uh, QQQ, right here, where um, it looked like this was going to turn down and the technicals were even weaker. We've seen buying come in. Now, buying could be the rumor. It could be, uh, you know, talk of trade. It could be anything. It doesn't matter. Whatever it is, the price is moving up as the technicals are failing. So on a short-term basis, you have to look at this and say, hey, that is positive. There's no question about it. If you look at the, I'm um, going to go to the SMHs, which is a semiconductor index, <clears throat> trading down 28 cents right now, 133.36. You'll see that when it made its peak on the on the 15th of let me just double check that is the 15th yeah on the 15th of November at 135.26 all time high and it started to pull back for three bars. Look what happened the MACD crossed it went flat and then crossed negative. The stochastic went flat and then started to cross negative. Unbalanced volume turned down and the prices pulled back quite sharply. <clears throat> So in a sense, I don't want to say this is an aberration. Sure, it happens. <clears throat> and I warn subscribers to my opening call that, yeah, we're, we're looking at the downside, but you've got to respect this moving average, especially the nine period, because we haven't closed. <clears throat> the nine hasn't closed below the 14. And that's what you really need to get an acceleration to the downside. So put it together. What we're looking at is, is this little doji potential doji candle for a close at four o'clock today? Is this going to suggest that if there is a close tomorrow below the low of today, 28,042.21 in the Dow, the S&P will be, the S&P is the low today so far is 3,131.00, round number, that's interesting. The close below that, would suggest, yep, we're starting to pull back a little bit. It doesn't say you're getting to a sell soon or anything. It just says be careful because then you can start to pull back and you can see a deflection in the MACD to the downside. So these are all the things that I'm looking at. And let me just give you the parameters that I'm looking at here also on the QQQ, the NDX 100, which uh, in the, look, the weekly chart is still only a leg C that's very positive. So is the monthly. Oh, let me just explain that for a moment here. Let me just slide this across. In the Chapman wave, what we like to do is we like to, in the methodology, we like to identify the lowest low bar 
and then count each successively higher peak, alphabetizing them uppercase on the way up, lowercase on the way down, sequentially from A to G. But it's at peak A, peak B, peak C, and then the fourth highest peak, peak D, that other things can happen. You'll see how many instances we've had peak D where you've had a pretty major decline. Um, I'm only looking for three patterns, straight down, straight up, arch formation, cup formation. Yes, you can get a mix of the two. It's still the same thing. Look, down, and then it makes an arch. And if it takes out that left side low, that's called the dreaded H because if you can keep going lower. And on the, on the other side of it is the green. If you, in the reverse Y formation, if you take out that left side high with good technicals, you can go higher. In fact, that very pattern, peak A, peak B, peak C, you can see each one of these is like a Y, then another extension, then a Y, the cup formation, except it looks like a V, but it's the same thing. So the principle is very simple, three, three patterns, straight up, straight down, arch, cup. All right, that's one. The other thing is I look at moving averages. This is made up. The MACD is made up of moving averages. So is the slow stochastics. And on balance volume is just a totalization of up and down volume. So now let's go from the dailies. Look, the weekly is still very strong. We made a peak D, very sharp pullback uh, late July into August. Then we start up again. Now it's in leg C. That's very good. That says at uh, 204 in the QQQ. The nine period moving average in the weekly is 198.60 and 196.14 for the black 14 moving average. And the MACD strong stochastics at 97.29. 97 that is 2.71 away from 100 and it never gets to 100. So this is really strong. So what it says is there's a good chance that we will have a consolidation sometime very soon and that there's a chance that the Qs could go back to where it was just a week and a half or so ago could start trading between 201 and 199. And not a big deal at this particular point, but it'll be a bit of a surprise. It'll be a breather. So I'm going to do that. And then I just want you to show you something else as we're about to go to a break. NYA.x, this is the New York Stock Exchange, all-time high January of 2018 at 13,635 goes to 10.723 in December, comes all the way back to today's our 35.32, still under the all-time high, but close. I'll be right back. We'll talk about the monthly charts in a moment. That's a chat. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for...